Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jamil Hassan Show. Thank you for joining us today. Today, I'd like to talk about databases. The blockchain is a distributed database, a distributed ledger, and a database. I've been building databases for about 20 years um, before it became a, a really technical function. It was, uh, you know, um, I was one of the first um, to actually um, start building uh, databases and access. And um, it was really a really opportunity to collect data, analyze, do research, massage the data. And um, back in 2000, I remember working at a Bobcat facility in, in North Dakota. And um, I took this giant green bar report and I manually typed information into an access database that took a few months. Um, after that, things got a little easier. I went to Prudential Financial and we built the uh, AUM database there. Built the AUM database uh, data-driven organization at AIG. I uh, helped build the, uh, the short-term and cash database uh, at AIG later in 2012 and then the CCAR financial projections platform. Uh, most of my work was on how to not only build a database and make it efficient, uh, as efficient as possible to run in a few minutes, but also how to apply it out there, um, how to look at a country or a region or a business problem, and how do we use that data to solve that problem. So a lot of BA work, a lot of business analysis work. Um, that's been my history as more of a data artist and project leader. Um, than a technician, but in order to do that, I needed to understand the business. Um, blockchain, I believe, and I, I believe that it allows everybody to use data and use data as a commodity and use it to not only for their job, but to build businesses. There's a lot of opportunity for collection of data and the question is, how do we best use it? Uh, someone like with me could help um, companies by, by providing them with the business analysis skills and abilities coming from AIG, Global View. Um, a lot of companies out there building blockchains. How do you use your blockchain use cases? And how do you build your company after your blockchain company has been funded? How do you grow? How do you scale? A lot of that's coming down the pike. It has to in order to be successful for the long term. Companies need to operationalize. 95% of new companies fail um, because they don't realize how to operationalize. One of the great things about um, our experience and with my partners as well, global access global market penetration, and operationally viable creation. So we are here to help and, and make a difference for you. Um, thank you.